This is Oscar Bevis for IFL TV. Delighted to be joined by my man, Tyler Denny, here in Wolves. Um, yeah, how are we feeling, brother? Was it, man? Like, walking into this little setup and that, uh, just gets you excited, man. Gets you excited. If this doesn't get excited, then you might as well pack boxing in because European title so close to um, on Sky. Absolutely. That's what, I, that's what I'm here for, man. Does it ever get boring seeing your face plastered on something like this? Nah, I love it, you know. <laughs> mate, that, mate, I, mate yeah, well, completely, completely, it's not even self-centred. Nah, I completely get it. I would love it. Yeah, <laughs> don't forget, I've done, I've done the, um, the small little shows from the beginning. Even then, with the main members, when I first started off, say the poster's that big, I'm like this big on the bottom. Do you know what I mean? You have to get a fucking magnifying glass to have a look to see what my name is. So it's, it, it, it's nice, man. Built my way up. Built my way up. I'm sure you'll rise to the, uh, the occasion on, on Saturday night. Um, yeah, I just spoke to you about this off camera for a little bit. Um, I remember sitting in your dressing room, Coventry, Skydome, a draw with River for the English title, and you using, along the words of, feel like packing this in. Um, what a journey since. A couple of bumps in the road, but I guess that makes this success to now even sweeter. Um, it's been a mad couple of years for you, hasn't it? Yeah, it has, man. And I think everything happens for a reason. I, that's what I have to try and do. Like, that's what I was saying to you. That was on Channel 5 in November. I had to wait till June for the rematch, so I was annoyed at that. But the rematch was on Sky, which is the best platform out there for me. And I've kept winning. I've stayed on Sky. So if I would have won that, say, for instance, the way I wanted to win at the time, that opportunity to fight on Sky probably wouldn't be there. And these opportunities to fight for a European, everything happens, it all works out, man. But I'll continue grafting and uh, I feel like I deserve this chance now. This might be a hard question to answer in terms of we're not at Saturday night yet. Um, this is the biggest fight of your career in terms of the European title, fighting the champion. Um, but have the nerves got easier as they've gone along? So I can imagine the nerves for the River rematch in terms of a career make or break would have been huge. But you've kind of rolled into quite a few big fights. So has it become kind of easier to handle the nerves as, as it's gone along? Because the fights have been getting bigger. Now, I, I get what you're saying. I don't want to come across like a, a big Eddie or something, but I don't really get that nervous. Really. I try and make myself a bit nervous, try and make myself sharp because I'm too relaxed and chilled, man. Like, I'm yawning and just, I don't know, arse out before, like 10 minutes before the fight. And Neville's like giving me a slap and saying, come on, come on. Um, obviously, it means everything to me. So it's not like... I don't, it's not like I don't care. I just, I just, I'm that happy with, with myself inside of the work I put in and stuff. That I just think like, what will be will be now. I've done everything that I could possibly do. Just go and enjoy it, man. I can't wait. It's going to be a wicked atmosphere in there as well. Um, I know you've done a lot of tickets. You told me you could have done more. Um, I mean, you're going to be doing your business in the ring, but mate, they are going to be driving you on, your fans. Yeah, it's going to be a real man. Um, sell out as well it's been announced today it's been sold out and I don't know if you've ever been to the venue but it's like to just imagine for people who don't know imagine your core what 10 times cleaner do you know what I mean and you <laughs> hey that still ain't clean well, <laughs> no, yeah, well, 100 times cleaner yeah, yeah 100 times cleaner and it's like that but you know, it's got the balconies and that the atmosphere is going to be unreal man I, I thought there early on in my career it was like on a box now so I think before something Tommy Langford was headlining um and it's good then, but as in a nothing fight. So this one is going to be mad. Especially with Sky there with the production now. I noticed from the difference between Channel 5 River one and the Sky one, it looked a different building when you was in there. So yeah, man, it's going to be proper. It's going to be wicked and you've got a worthy opponent in European champion, Matteo Signani. Um, a name we've heard a lot in terms of him being linked with Felix Cashin. Mate, I felt like that fight, or the talk about it, dragged on for years and years. Um, we finally get to see what he's about in this country as well. I'm so excited to see what he brings. Um, what are you expecting him to bring to the ring? I guess quite a lot as, as a champion. Yeah, he's European champion. He has been for a few years as well, didn't he? I think he had a loss, but then he revenge, uh, avenged it as well. So I was going to make sure that nobody talking about him after Saturday, to be fair. Do you know what I mean? If people are still talking about him, I've not done my job right. Do you focus on your opponent too much, or are you one of them where, as long as I do my thing? Yeah, yeah, I'm completely that way. Um, I don't focus on them at all, to be honest. Because not only that, but it's safe you used to watch videos of him and he's not fighting me when I'm watching that video, so it could be completely different. I, I just try and work out when I'm in there and just wing it a bit, I think. But it's worked for me so far, so I'm happy. I'm happy to carry that on. So you're doing all right in terms of belts for someone who's winging it. Um, yeah, obviously, beyond this, there'll be massive fights and potential 
big clashes, headline clashes and what not to come. Um, can you let yourself think about that? Obviously, you've got, I guess, tunnel vision for this fight, but, mate, everyone wants a dream. Um, and if this train keeps rolling on, God knows what interview we're going to be doing in a couple of years. Yeah, well, all I've been doing ever, throughout my career is just win my next fight, and it's got me to here, so keep the same mentality, win my next fight. And that's a good thing. I was on about this on the way up here. Yeah, um, saying like football and stuff, like... Everyone knows that great footballer who never got skated and stuff, do you know what I mean? And you see, see someone get a skate and you think, well, he was better than him in boxing. As long as you win, you'll get the opportunity. The, the, the card denier, do you know what I mean? So if you keep winning, you will get a, you will get a chance to prove how good you are. So that's the route I'm going down. Just keep winning my next fight and hopefully we'll have an even better story in a couple of years to tell. But for now, let's get Saturday out of the way, man. What a way to win it would be if you could do it by knockout. In walls, everyone going mental, blue strap over the shoulder. I could picture, I could see it now. That's what I'm looking for, that's what I'm looking for, that's what we need, man. Good uh, fairy tale ending to the night, and it's, it's written, man, that's what I'm looking for as well. Emphatic win, and knockout even better.